Alrighty guys, look, my name is Tommy, and of course I am with Monument Grills, and on today's show it is going to be a cast iron skillet chicken parm pizza on my brand new Dinelli 605. So look, as you can hear behind me, we have some epic storms blowing in, so I got to get right into this cook, but I do got to send a shout out to Maddie and Kiki for this recipe idea. Also, I am including a little bit of a gallery backyard barbecue twist, but what I want to do right now is I want to turn our attention over here to the board. We did bread up some chicken, as you can see, and also I got a very simple dough recipe it is a foolproof dough recipe i'll run real quick footage on that and then we will meet you on over here at my Dinelli 605 we will fire up that side burner and we will saute off some chicken all righty guys look i just want to touch a little bit on this prep work i am using chicken tenders here i am doing a light pounding and we are going to go with a basic breadcrumbs with the flour and egg and of course, we want to use panko breadcrumbs whenever possible for that extra crunch. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> People ask, so here goes my foolproof pizza dough recipe. It is going to start with some water at about 108 degrees, one package of dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar. Give that a good mix. And you're going to wait about 10 minutes, let it activate and bubble up like that three cups of flour, hit it with a little bit of oil, a little bit of honey, three quarters cup of water, pour in that yeast, and you are gonna start mixing it up. Basically, you wanna get it to where it holds together, but not fully. If you gotta add a little bit more water, add it, you're basically looking for sticky crumbs. Yeah. Once it holds together like that, get some flour. Flour is your friend, get it on the board. You're gonna start kneading it just like that. If you gotta add a little bit more flour, please do. Guys, continue to work the dough like that. Get it in a ball like that. The ball is what you want. Get some oil, get it in a tin. Get that oil all over the dough. You are gonna cover it with a little piece of plastic. Get it up high, get it in some heat, and let it rise for about an hour. That is a half a can of crushed tomatoes. I got some basil that I cut up. That is fresh basil. We will get that in there. We will hit it with some uh, granulated garlic. And at that point, get it with some Italian seasoning. You could put a little oregano in there if you want and uh, give it a little bit of a mix. You don't want to use a uh, pizza uh, sauce for this recipe. You want it more chicken parmy, should we say. Yeah. And there is our uh, breaded up chicken tenders. We are at about 400 on the uh, oil surface there. You are going to let those suckers go and they're going to go for about two minutes. Check it. If it's nice and browned, flip it. And that is definitely looking good. That is where you want to be. Flip it over. You are going to let it go for about another, figure about a minute and a half. Then you are going to pull it off and check it. You are looking for about 165. And keep in mind, it will cook in the pizza. So if you're 150, 155, you will be good to go. So look, we will move right into the next step. As you can see, my dough has risen beautifully. I've got my cast iron skillet here. You do want to get a little bit of oil in. And this should prevent any sticking. And also, as long as your uh, cast iron skillet is well seasoned, you should be fine. But for some safe cards, I will take a little bit of uh, yellow corn meal. And also, I will take a little bit more of that Monument Grills chicken rub and put a little bit of that rub on the bottom. That'll help to give us a nice, well-seasoned uh, uh, dough. And here is our dough. And always remember, your top is always going to be your top, no matter what kind of pizza you're making. So basically, what you want to do here is just kind of push your... Uh, push your dough out. We are going to push this out and let it sit. You want to let it sit for about a half hour and let it rise up again and then you will be ready to go. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover this with a piece of uh, saran wrap. I'll put it high in the uh, high in the house where some warm myth gets it. Let it rise half hour, and I'll bring you guys back. So there we are, approximately one half hours later. We will get that fresh tomato sauce in. And very important here, you want to go wall to wall. Let it run past the uh, past the dough. Let it drip down if necessary. I mean, that is going to be a lot of flavor. And you want to do that with the cheese also. Oh, yeah. There you go. Just let it hit the uh, hit the sides. There is our chicken tenders. I like strips, and then I like to cut those strips in half, more or less bite-sized pieces. Oh man, yeah. Get as much chicken on as you'd like. Remember, this is your pizza, your way. And again, with that cheese, I got some fresh grinded up there uh, mozzarella cheese, wall to wall, get it all the way to the edge. That crust is going to be cheesy. There you go. You can never have enough cheese. Or too much cheese. That is a little Pecacino Romano just to kind of fix it up a little bit. You can hit it with a little bit of oregano if you'd like. And I am going to hit it with that Monument Grills. This is a nice, uh, this is a nice chicken rub. This is going to pair well for what we are trying to do. Yeah. All righty, so look, I got my Dinelli 605 all fired up. We want to run this pit at about 400, and I'm thinking it's going to take about a half hour or so, but we shall see. I will meet you at the pit. All righty, all oh, look, we are 15 minutes into the cook, and I can tell you, man, because I am peeking through the glass, this thing looks absolutely incredible. Let's go in, let's check it out. Let's make sure everything is looking good. Maybe we will release the sides a little bit, and if we got to let it run a little bit more, we will. Come on. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a spatula and just kind of move it away from the sides. Just make sure nothing is sticking. I can tell you, man, that is looking good. This is deep dish at its finest. And look at 400 or so on that uh, on that grill. You don't have to worry about burning it. You're not going to burn it. I mean, nothing holds the heat like a cast iron skillet. Yeah. All right, guys, look, so I am going to let this bad boy go for about another five minutes or so, and then I'm going to bring it on over to my one side burner. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on low because I want that bottom nice and crispy. So look, anytime you're dealing with a deep dish, you want to make sure it is nice and cooked on the bottom and in the, uh, you know, in, in the dough. You want to make sure the dough is nice and cooked. I got that burner on high. I will watch it carefully. I'll keep it moving away from the uh, sides and you'll see it. It'll start to smoke and see that darkness on the edges on the side. That is that goodness I was talking about before. Yeah, that's money. And I'm only on there for about a minute or so, and you could see it starting to smoke. That is what I want, man. That bottom is just uh, is cooking nicely. Oh, man. Oh. I mean, guys, how good does that look? We have moved it off. We are on a, a little cookie sheet there, so we will let it cool just a little bit. I will get it on the board, and we will cut this bad boy open. But first, a little Pecacino Romano. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so look, one needs to ask the questions. Is it time to throw away that stone and also that... Uh, that little uh, pizza maker insert that you guys have been putting in your grills. I mean, this is deep dish, man. This is, uh, I got to tell you, man, this is pretty incredible, man. It came out exactly as I would hoped. Let's give it a little bit of a slice, a little bit of a taste test, and we will close out the show. And I got to tell you, these, uh, these little sides right here, they're the best, man. Those are killer. And this is dinner tonight, so I am just going to go with a, uh, just a little bit of a slice. Okay. 
and you can see that crust. You can see the bottom. That's from putting it on that thing, but that is the way I like it. And I would say she is looking pretty good. Deep dish. Cheers. You know, guys, what could I say, man? This is um, this is another 10 out of 10. And as you can see, I want to rip this open and get you on the inside here. Our inside is cooked perfectly. I mean, look, by far, this is one of the coolest cooks that I've done on, a, um, on any grill in a long time. I mean, this is just a flat out fun cook. I don't know why I haven't thought about this in the past. But this is just a this is just a beautiful thing, and it is so easy to do. All you really do need is a uh, a cast iron skillet, fire up that monument grill, and uh, add the ingredients that you want, and you are all set. So listen, before I close out the show again, I want to point out: go wall to wall, because all this crispy goodness on the edge there is uh, is key to the cook, man. Key to the flavors. There is no doubt about it. So look, again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for coming along. I had plans today to get into that app control to control the grill with the app. But with this weather blowing in, I did not want to take the chances. I did want to get this cook in. On my next video, we will dive into that app. We will control the grill with the app and we will bring you another simple recipe that you can do at home. That is going to do it for this one. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And until next time, we will see you soon.